was legitimately played. Like, say what you want. I feel like I've been hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back again with another video in this video i tried a bunch of brand new hot makeup we all know we've been limited to our makeup accessibility and like i know online shopping is cool and all and i know people like you know ordering stuff online and browsing through the stuff but honestly that's not my preferred method I like to touch, I like to dip, I like to sample on my hand, I like to compare, I like to mix and match. I like to see it and put my grubby little fingers in it before I decide to buy it. I think I got all of this at Target for the most part. So if you want to see some new products that I think turned out bomb.com, then just keep on watching. Also. I got hair extensions from Amazon. What's up, what's up, what's up? Let me know if you wanna know the details. As always, let's engage our kitty cat ears. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this LA Girl HD Pro Primer. I've never used this before. It's just moisture nourishing nourishing face hmm it has a scent to it it's a very cosmetic scent for foundation this one is one that I saw all this makeup I got at Target this is the Milani screen queen natural finish foundation it's in the color 350 natural tan and it says digital blue light filter don't know what that means luminous natural skin finish buildable light to medium coverage long most of the time i do medium to full coverage This is the first layer. I'm going to add a little bit more just to see really how buildable it is. Um, it is buildable. Pretty sure it is buildable. Taking this concealer. This isn't new. It's just drugstore. Okay, and now for our powder, this is um by the brand The Cream Shop, and it's Natural Cake Face. Now, it says Wake Up and Cake Up, and it's called, oh, the packaging is so cute. It's like sprinkles. It reminds me a little bit of the um Beauty This powder just doesn't want to come out. Try to use this all over my face just to kind of see. Whoa, this has like a really sweet smell. Wow. Okay. So brows are done. Now I'm just gonna take my the Urban Decay primer pro, and then I'm just setting that with any leftover. Hey, now for eyeshadows, um, Juicy Jazz, I don't know if you guys know her here on the tubes, um, she's been obsessed with these $3 e.l.f. makeup little quads, and these are just called Bite Size Eyeshadow, this one is in Carnival Camp, these guys, we're gonna go in with carnival candy and we're gonna take this neutral right here a lot of kick up 
as y'all can see and we're just gonna build that guy right up in the crease I mean like I said a lot of kick up just depends on how you feel about it and then I'm gonna take a smaller little detail brush and I'm the same thing this is still our carnival candy and I'm gonna take this little red right here and I'm gonna build him up right here in the corner and this is just not a blending brush this is more like a little detail brush so I'm just kind of packing in the color and then I'll go ahead and blend it out with my other brush Taking that same brush we had, now I'm going to go ahead and blend. I just don't want the color to go too far up. You see that? She's pretty. And then I am going to take the blue because, like, why not? And I'm just going to take it on my finger and I'm going to, whoa. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Pigmented. Blending is good for the soul. I'm just gonna say that. And then with our blending brush. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one from the pumpkin pie. And I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. This is so soft. And I'm just going to put it right there. Yes, hi. Wow, that is so pretty. So I'm gonna wet it. And... Look at that. Uh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take, this is back in the carnival. I'm gonna take this shade right here. He looks like the perfect little brow bone shade. Not too white. A little matte color. I like him. Look at that. Oh, I really like this shade. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to be trying this new Line Art LA Girl. She looks ooh. And it does say quick drying, smudge proof, water resistant, rich color payoff. Cool little design. It looks like a little pen. Like a little pen. Whoa. That is sharpity sharp sharp. It does have like a little grip. I don't know. Okay, well let's try it. I would just say hold it out because it does tend to snap a little bit on your eye skin. But this is a very fine tip. To the point where it could be a little bit hard to use. It's a little stiff. like the handle the design of it i don't like the actual tip because i am struggling and i don't typically struggle with eyeliner so that's really annoying let's add some color in our waterline and i think i'm gonna take 
I kind of want to do the blue because I think the blue looks really cool. But... Contour. So now I picked up the Primer Infused Long Lasting Wear, what do you call this? Bronzer. And this one is a Forever Sunk. And I have high hopes for it, guys. I have high hopes for it. So it looks real pretty. <laughs> real pretty. The shade is pretty. It's not too orange. I think it's And for blush, I'm just going to use this new Wet n Wild. This is Pearl Essence, Pearl Essence Pink. Like a shimmer to it. So hopefully it's not too crazy. I feel like this color you can't really see on my face as much. This metallic flare rose gold highlighter it looks a bomb and this one is in rose gold i love elf in this new sleek packaging look at this packaging like yes give me queen vibeness okay feels a little rough feels a little rough guys i don't know Okay, it's working. Okay, this is not blinding. And I'm not mad at it. Okay, so I've added some mascara. These are my lashes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some pencil liner. And I'm taking this LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner in Oh, snap. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what it is about blues, but I love them in my waterline. A bright blue, a neon blue. I'll literally just do liner, mascara, and then like a blue liner. It's that the blue makes my brown eyes pop. Or maybe it's that it's just not as boring as black. Two lips. Now, I wanted to share with you guys, I've been obsessed with these. I started off with one, and somehow now I have three. I know you might be thinking, these are all the same color, girl. Like, what about some variation? But these are the Milani Satin Matte colors, and I have the color 9, which is velvet, 1, which is lavish, and 3, which is fancy. I think I'm going to go with nine velvet and i'm just gonna line my lips also a great formula for lip liners is the nyx suede matte lip crayons this one is in whipped caviar a favorite of mine let's go ahead and add a little nude to the center to create a little bit of an ombre and you see how that changed our lip a little mentioned i have these two liquid glitter disco eye eyeshadows also got these at target and elf has just been like i see you elf you've been doing stuff you've been doing stuff and i don't <gasps> i feel fooled dumb to this day because you look at this packaging I, right and you're like still oh, stand by like, the fact that these aren't the best from here it worked to but here. i didn't manage to get and like a super thin this liner with it itty so for that reason just, it's not gonna be like, like a go-to of mine I damn elf you played me a little bit Sing applicator oh this is thick. Use the gold this is so big. these are so small i was legitimately played like say what you want i feel like i've been played and I always like to apply these with like a little itty bitty brush. And like sometimes I'll make them my inner corner highlight like that because they have a really nice pop of silver to them. So they pop a lot. 
If I had known there were these itty bitty things, I probably would have just gotten one. Just letting y'all know the truth. And then set the rest of our face. It's feeling like. It's my, like one of my go-to settings. Boom, bada beam, bada boom. Pow, pow, pow. I don't know why I just said that. Bada beam, bada boom, pow, pow, pow. I would highly recommend all of the products I used on my face a two day with the exception of liner. Um, I've never really liked pencil liners like these felt tip liners and um, to this day I still stand by the fact that these aren't the best. It worked but I didn't manage to get like a super thin liner with it so for that reason it's not going to be like a go to of my oh. We've got one more product. We've got a gloss. Oh. This is thick. This is so thick. Anyways, this is the, the... Those are my thoughts. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember me to follow me on all my social media. I link it all down below. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Oh, that's plumping. Like, it's burning my lips. Like, I feel... It's not like burning, like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. But it's like, I can feel a burn. Like. Like a burn. Okay. I don't know what else to say about this other than that. Okay. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.